okay so we're here to learn how to use lightroom so let me select a picture uh okay so i need to select a picture that i have to edit let me go to zender because i have some pictures over there that i haven't touched okay i've touched this i've touched this i've touched this yeah okay okay so here so I pick a picture here, this one, I haven't edited it. So I'll show you the processes now of how we can edit this. So this is the image I've chosen to edit. And if you look at this image, you see that a lot of things are just wrong. Okay, so things may not be wrong, but it was shot in the raw format. So everything is like directly the way it was shot. Excess light, excess, a lot of things. Ex <laughs> the colors have been taken off, you know, and all of that. So we're going to add a little light to this thing now. So what I normally do here is just come and click on auto and, you know, see what auto looks like. Now this is what it looks like and I don't like it. So I've taken it back, I've taken it off auto. So now I'm going to begin to work on it. Okay, so for this image, I've taken off the auto setting because I don't like it. So now I'm going to do it manually. Now I'm reducing my exposure. The light on the image is a lot. So I am reducing the exposure. You need to check your numbers at the top while you're working on it. The next thing I'm doing here is my contrast. I'm increasing it so that the picture can have some colors. If I reduce it, it goes back to the white. So I'm increasing it so that I can have some colors. The contrast helps to show the difference between each color. Because if you increase it, the red is obvious, the blue is obvious, just like that. So the next thing I pick is my shadows. Great, so for the, the shadows helps to add more light to your face and to any other part of your body that is dark. So, even on your clothing. So the next thing I pick now is my highlights. The highlight also helps to shed more light on your, <clears throat> on your skin and how your skin looks and then the entire color of the picture. So I'm also going to be picking the black and reducing it because I also need more light. Basically, everything that's seems wrong with this image is excess light so i'm making sure that i reduce the light i'm making sure that the, the colors look really appropriate so now the next thing i'll do is i'll go to my temperature yes so now the temperature you can either you know increase or decrease add some blues or some yellows i'm going to be going towards the blue because i want it to look of course it was shot in daylight i want it to look good now click on color at the bottom of your phone and it will bring you here so now this is where you pick every color that you want to adjust. Now I've adjusted my red. You can see that I've adjusted the red on the dress. You you almost you can see a difference immediately. You click on any color to adjust it. The next color I'm picking right now is uh, the orange color. The orange color is my skin. Yes, it's you can see that it's working on my skin. It's brightening my skin, giving it more orange, giving it more melanin, so to say. And then it's also touching on the orange on the dress. That's light brown you can see on the dress. Now my next color is yellow. Yeah, so I pick on my yellow and I adjust it slightly because there's not much yellow in the image. So that's why I just adjusted it a little bit. So now I pick on my green and I adjust it really high because there's a lot of green in the image. So you can see that I've taken my green all the way. There's a lot of green in the image. I've taken it all the way to 100. And then you see this who? H-U-E. I'm going to be bringing it back a bit because I know what I want in my image. Now I want the green to be a little yellowish. That's why I'm doing that. So you see that I've adjusted my green in saturation all the way to 100 and I'm bringing the hue back. And you can see that the colors have changed. They're no longer deep green. Now they're looking like yellow. Yeah, so that's what I want. You need to know what you want before you even begin to edit. So the next color I'm picking is my blue. I love my sky being so blue. That's why I am working on my blue and giving it a very serious blue sky. Yeah, so you can see that my sky is now so blue just the way I want it. Yep, so you, I'm just going to pick on other colors and, you know, work on them randomly. There's no much purple in the image or the pink so i'm not doing much on those if we had like a lot of purple in the image ahead then you can see me adjusting more but there's not much purple or
pink in the image that's why i'm not so bothered about those so i'm just doing it just to add a little brightness so wherever it touches on it becomes bright yeah so the image gets really bright just by just this little little touching you can't just take a picture and just leave it like that so you need to touch on all of these things but while you're doing this make sure that the real color of the dress doesn't disappear that's the problem i realize most times so make sure that the real color of the dress does not disappear so this is the real color of my dress my dress and this dress in the picture is now the same color there's no difference anymore in both of them yeah so when you're editing make sure that you don't take away from the original color yeah so <clears throat> you can see now that we have a huge difference in what we started editing and what we currently have so i'm touching on my yellows you know to make the trees around look really yellow to make them look really yellow okay so let's check and see if there's anything else that we need okay yeah we need to the haze so this the haze helps to take or add more will i say there's this sort of darkness it adds to an image it dims the light and it adds more light if you want so now this is what it looks when i dim the light so when i increase it i'm dimming the light when i reduce it i'm adding more light so now i'm going to take you back to see what it looks can you see can you see how it's getting so bright and it's taking us right back to where we started from and that's not what we need so i'm just going to add a little the haze to the image yeah just add a little just so that it looks great and original it doesn't take it away from the original picture and it doesn't take us right back to where we started from yeah so you can see the image now yeah so you can see the image now i'm looking at it and i'm thinking there's still something that we have to do i'm seeing a lot of whites on my shoulder and my bust area that place looks extremely white so i'm going to come back to light that's what we started from i clicked on light at the bottom of the screen and i'm going to go to white you can see there's white before blacks and i'm going to reduce it so you see what it looks like okay here's what it looks like uh okay now i've taken it back just so that the light on my shoulders and bust area can reduce it's also going to reduce the general light in the image but you can always go back to exposure to add more light this is what it looks like when i increase all of the white so you can see that my bust area and my shoulder area is extremely bright so yeah so we'll just go back take off that light all of that brightness will take it off okay maybe not all but most of it just take it off and then we go you, like i said you can use your exposure to bring it right back this whole thing is not complicated just follow my video as i've done it so i'm going back to exposure now to you know i already even reduced my exposure before so i'm going back to it now to add a little more light yep just bring it front yeah so i'm adding so now you can see that it doesn't even look like i use the white at all because it's right the colors balanced a lot more now than it was before when that place was just too white yep so let us see our image okay so this is what we have now let's see what we have before great so this is what our image used to be before and then it changed yeah so if you have any questions please ask me